So I haven't done these uh, vlogs in a while. I've been um, dealing with uh, the movie, um, the request. We had this fundraiser going on and um, we're about to reach our goal. So we already reached our first goal, which is the green light to uh, for production. And now we're um, about to reach our, our um, total goal, you know, like our final goal, that amount that we set, because we had some uh, original funds that are already, um, say, placed aside. So we needed the fundraiser to to make um, the production possible. So I've uh, been dealing with that and um, there's some of the stuff that along the way of having to do the campaign video and to promote our movie, um, just to let people know about it, to, to attract attention and to um, kind of, uh, you know, um, generate interest uh, for, for the request. Um, so I got in an accident when I was working one night and somebody hit me really, um, hit me from behind and, uh, got really hurt. So, um, I was trying to overcome that. So it's been a lot of things though, but, you know, I just thought that I should do, um, a vlog and, you know, I haven't done one in a while, maybe a few months. So I think it's, um, it's important for us to take care of ourselves, self-care, to focus more on ourselves to do things that we like to do to make ourselves feel better to feel happier we could be happy people in life we could love our life we could be happy all our lives but we could be unhappy with our current situation that is okay that doesn't mean that we're not unhappy it doesn't mean that we're not happy people it's okay we're human beings that Sometimes we could get unhappy with the situation because it's uh, recurring, we're getting tired, we get frustrated, we get bothered. We get that those negative emotions and we want change. We have to take action. We need to know what our priorities are. High priorities, medium priorities, low priorities. Do them one at a time. What is the thing that's holding you back right now? What is not making your dream possible? What is hold, uh, blocking you for not getting what you want in life? Just keep in mind that we don't always get what we want in life. Because life is about obstacles, challenges, setbacks, that we're always growing. Just like when you're working out the gym, you work out, you get tired, your muscles get sore, you get tired on if you're doing cardio. It's because you're building towards something. Because each time you do it, it becomes easier because your body starts to adjust to it. And you become stronger. And then you could do more. You could walk more stairs. You could run longer. You could run faster. You could lift more weights. Because your body heals. So just like... When people treat us bad or we have difficult times, we have unfortunate events, that those moments make us stronger. The more that we're exposed to and the more we understand it, then it helps us to grow stronger. Because if we're stronger mentally, it could help us physically. If we are weak, then it's going to hurt us because our body's going to react to our negative emotions of our depression, our unhappiness, our frustration, being cynical, being negative, like just all those emotions and feelings that you don't like your life, you wish you didn't live, you wish this is the wrong life. And if you start talking like that, then you're going to start feeling negative. It's important to be positive, even during your tough times, that you should believe in something above you. Whether it's a purpose, it's God, or the universe. Do meditation. There's so many things you can do to better yourself. And the reason why I say this is because I go through these difficult times and it's recurring, but I don't give up. I don't stop what I'm doing. That I believe, I have faith, strong faith. And just like with this movie, that it started as an idea when I was driving Uber 
several years ago. And over the years, I wanted to write it. And and one day I'd meet um, my um, film teacher again. And then now we're, you know, uh, talking about movies and our, you know, our what happened in the last 10 or 11 years. And all of a sudden we're writing this movie and it was difficult, you know, um, stressful, you know, trying to live your life and trying to d write this movie and spend all that time on it. But then you were able to overcome all those moments and then you do a little at a time. You take those little steps to your dream and then it gets closer and closer. And then you finally could see it that this movie is going to get made, that we're going to do this proof of concept and that the movie, that proof of concept is going to raise the money and the future film will get made. But that the dream does not stop there. Just like when you're in a relationship and you think that, okay, that person is happy with me. They love me. I don't have to do anything more. You always have to do more. That love and happiness are never constant. That people change, people's moods change, the situations change. The relationship is always growing. That you have to put your time, energy, and effort into the relationship. You can't say, I worked all day at my job. I'm tired. I can't cuddle with you. I can't, uh, you know, I can't take you out on a date or, you know, a man should treat a woman with respect. Treat her like a woman. Like treat her like, like a woman should be treated. Like if you want to be romantic, be romantic. If you, you know, if you want to cuddle or if you want to hug them, do it. That life is, uh, it's not always about ourselves. It's not about our wants. It's not about our needs, our desires. When you're in a relationship, it's about togetherness. It's about them. Unconditional love, unconditional happiness is looking for the other person. And sometimes in life, we have to make decisions to let someone go so they could find their love and their happiness even if it's without us. We may have made them better. We could help them grow to become the best version of themselves. But then someone will enjoy it. That's good because as long as they're happy and you cared about them, then you did something that was powerful, that was selfless. And that's how movies are. Movies are about the human condition, human emotion. It's about conflict, resolution. That if we just watch a movie that's happy from beginning to middle to end, that there's not going to be any redemption at the end. There's not going to be any redemption value. But if you see a movie where someone's struggling, like the pursuit of happiness, and they're struggling and struggling and struggling, they want something, but there's these real moments. And then they get what they want. Then there's this happiness at the end. But you could be happy with life from the beginning of your life to the end of your life. But there are going to be moments that you're going to be unhappy, but you have to fight through that unhappiness, fight through the depression, through those down moments. And just know that allow people to, to be there for you. If somebody wants to help you and they care about you, give them that opportunity to care about you. Open your heart to them. You can't give them what they want. But how do you know what they want? Sometimes we think what we assume what that person's thinking. Like, okay, based on their actions, they want something. But how do we know what they really want? Unless we ask them. Say, what do you want? Asking questions is important. What are you looking for? What do you want out of this? Like, I can't give you this. I can't give you that. But if you don't really know what they want, then we start assuming, then we start treating people, um, you know, not respecting them and saying things to them when their true wants is to, to see us do better. And why would they want us to do better? Because they care about us. And why do they care about us? Because there's things that they do for us that we recognize and that we value and that maybe nobody else has done those things for us. It's feelings that develop over time based on the things that they've done for us. It's not always about looks. It's not about that we need them. It's about 
that we know that they are a great person, they have a lot of value, and they make us feel good. So we're making the request, and uh, there's less than a month left until we start filming, and that's gonna help us to make the bigger movie. And it's gonna happen, but that's not the dream stops. That's not where the dream stops. Because the ultimate dream is to have a family. And one day, one day in the future, one day, it's going to happen. Until the next time, value yourself, respect yourself, love yourself. Peace out.